Hooray for Hollywood. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Oh, hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of Deadpool 2. It stars Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin, Morena Baccarin, Julian Dennison, Zazie Beetz, and more. It is the story of the Merc with the Mouth, Deadpool, played by Ryan Reynolds, who's also known as Wade Wilson. Uh, he goes out on a mission. Uh, he, as he tells us at the beginning of the movie, he's gone international. He uh, is uh, killing bad guys left and right, whether they be uh, uh, child sex traffickers, uh, uh, drug dealers, drug kingpins, whatever the, their crime is, he is taking them out no matter where they are. And there is one that is close to home. Um, I believe the guy's Russian. He's a major drug distributor. Um, now, while he takes out most of his bad guys, his helpers, he doesn't actually get to the main bad guy because he goes into a panic room. Well, uh, it's uh, his and Van his girlfriend Vanessa, Morena Bacarin, uh, uh their anniversary, and he goes home to be with her to celebrate in probably very, very dirty ways. Uh, but a bunch of hitmen come, and uh, an event occurs which uh, sets, uh, sets uh, Deadpool down a very dark and uh, self-destructive road. Now, there is also a, a young uh, mutant by the name of Russell, uh, played by Julian Dennison, uh, who is at what is a re-education center for young mutants. Uh, it's like an orphanage or uh, something along that line, but what it really is is a place where the mutants are constantly punished in an effort to force them to suppress their mutant abilities. Well, he's over it, and he is uh, going to uh, destroy the place and kill the headmaster, that is when uh, the uh, X-Men show up, including Deadpool, who's considered a trainee. Uh, and uh, they, they manage to stop uh, the young boy from destroying the place. But in the process, Deadpool kills a, uh, a fella, one of the assistants at the home that uh, Russell says has abused him. So they end up sending Russell and Deadpool to uh, what's called the ice box. It is a place where mutants are held and they're forced to wear these uh, uh, things around their necks that suppresses their mutant ability, which means in uh, Deadpool's case, his cancer is going to overrun his body. Now, we jump to the future where uh, a guy named Cable, played by Josh Brolin, comes home to find his wife and daughter burned to death. And he goes back in time uh, to the present within the movie in order to kill the person who is responsible for that, for those deaths. And that person is Russell, who in the future will be known as Fire Fist. Uh, and Deadpool inadvertently uh, kind of helps Russell uh, try uh, to protect him from Cable. Um, uh, right from the beginning, we are told that this is a family film, uh, or a film about family, I should say. It's not a family film by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, Deadpool in the film is finding his family, and that is stressed throughout the film. Uh, also, as with the first film, making fun of the superhero genre, this one makes some fun of the superhero sequel and team-up genre. Uh, and there's plenty of Deadpool talking to the camera and uh, uh, talking to the audience and, uh, and irreverence and uh, non sequiturs and just general silliness. And it, it is all very entertaining. While Deadpool 2 does not really break any new ground um, I feel like this one is uh, more honest with what it is, and that is a sequel. 
uh, and a, a sequel that is uh, skewering uh, the superhero genre. And I think it does a real good job of both being entertaining and being sort of a uh, middle finger to the, the superhero genre that it is squarely and firmly a part of. Um, make sure you stay through the credits because uh, there are it's split up into two sections but there are two mid credit scenes um, after the second half of it plays you can get up and go because there's not anything at the end where Deadpool comes out and tells you to go home but that it's over uh, like in the first film uh, this one's a lot of fun not really anything new nothing we haven't seen before but there uh, there are some uh, very uh, entertaining scenes and uh, Josh Brolin is uh, very good as Cable uh, and uh, even that character begins to um, come around and, and become n not just the sort of two-dimensional uh, uh, character that we are introduced to. It is a lot of fun. It is more of the same and if you enjoy Deadpool, you'll enjoy Deadpool too. That's why I'm giving it five stars. Go to StanTheMovieMan.com to read my complete review. Listen to the podcast, The Fractured Frame, where myself and a couple of friends get together and discuss the latest in movie, TV, and streaming news. You can get that uh, at WIMZ.com in the podcast section. You can also find it wherever you get your podcasts. Follow me on Twitter at Movie Man Stan, and send emails to me, StanTheMovieMan123 at gmail.com. Till next time. Later.